How does a heat loss calculation help you size a heat pump? Okay, so basically we're going to do this calculation on your house and we're going to work out what the maximum amount of heat you are going to need on the coldest day of the year is. Let's say that's six or eight kilowatts. So in an average UK house, three bedroom semi 1930s, we're looking at six to eight kilowatts, depending on how much money you've spent on double glazing, loft insulation and so on. So what we then have to do is go and choose you a heat pump that will give that many kilowatts when the weather is cold. And this is where the fun begins, because an idiot came up with the idea that you measure the output of a heat pump not on the coldest day of the year. You measure it in kind of spring. I don't know who this idiot was, but I wanted to wring their neck for years. <laughs> so they will say to you, this machine is a 10 kilowatt machine. You go, excellent. I have a heat loss of eight kilowatts. I'll buy the 10 kilowatt machine. It will do the job. The problem is that the number on the side of the tin doesn't actually tell you how many kilowatts it gives on a cold day. So we have to look in a chart to see how the performance degrades. So very, very rough rule of thumb. If you take the number off the side of the tin, you get about two thirds of that capacity. So if you need 10 kilowatts, you'd install something like a 15.